All right, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble this Dell Optiplex 760. All right, so first thing we're going to do is remove the cover. So to do that, on the top back side here, there's this latch so you're, or lever. You're going to pull that, okay? So when you pull that, then this pops out just like this. All right, I'm trying to keep the service tags and other stuff out of view. But anyways, it opens up like that, and then you can go ahead and take this out. Okay, I'm going to set that aside. Let's flip this over. Okay, so the main thing we're going to focus on are these pieces. So I'm going to just kind of zoom in there. All right, if I can. Actually, I probably have to leave it tilted. All right, so to get the CD drive out, of course, you want to disconnect these. But first thing we're going to do is you can pull this blue tab up. When you pull that up, you can actually push the CD drive back. Then you can go ahead and let go. And then you can lift this out, okay? And same thing, when you put it back, you just drop it in and you can slide it. But anyways, there's the two connectors back here. We're going to have to disconnect. So if you can, you can grab this um, tab here that's sticking out. And you can grab that to help pull that. And then pinch from the two sides of the connector and wiggle and pull it out. Just like that, okay? Very standard SATA connections. And you can replace this with other CD or DVD drives or Blu-ray. Okay. Let me see here. Sorry, I'm checking if I got... Okay. Okay. So we got that. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to get the floppy drive out. It looks like it wasn't connected. So I don't know if somebody worked on this before and disconnected that. But same thing, you pull up this blue uh, lever. And then you can slide it back. And then you can actually lift this out. If it has these connected, this is for the power and this is for the data, um, you want to disconnect those as well. Um, the power connector, you do want to pull up slightly this way as you pull it out because this plastic part, the white plastic part down there has a little latch that kind of gets caught there. Okay, now for the hard drive. This one was a bit tricky. Let me see if I can show this. Okay, so... All right, so the hard drive, it was tough to remove <clears throat> but basically there's these two blue um, um, I don't know what you call these uh, but these blue I guess latches get caught over here so they're somewhat spring-loaded so you got to kind of pinch them both together and then you can get your hand in here and push this but it's really hard to move for some reason so you got to kind of just push it really hard okay Come on. there we go all right, and there you can see, now it's loose. We can lift this up. Okay, oh, there's some other cables here getting caught, but we can lift this up, and we can actually take the connector off. Same thing as the CD drive. Um, there's no tab there, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and grab the power connector first and kind of wiggle and pull that out. There we go. Now we can kind of pinch both sides of the data cable and we can kind of wiggle and pull that out. All right, you wanna be careful that you don't damage the wiring. And there's the hard drive. So I'm gonna be leaving this uh, thing out and we're just going to be putting the SSD in here. I actually cloned this over to a two and a half inch SATA SSD. All right, if you want, you can actually find a screw that'll fit and you can possibly attach it there. But uh, as you can see, it doesn't extend out as far, so I, I'm probably just going to have to connect the cables and leave it somewhat loose in there. Okay, so last thing in here that I'm going to show is the RAM. So they're only using three slots for some reason, uh, but there's four. Okay, let me lift that up, and we'll zoom in. Okay, and just like every other computer, the RAM, you pull the tabs to the side like this. This one's a little bit under here, so I'm going to do these instead. All right, so you just pull these tabs to the side. It pops up. Okay. And, of course, you want your computer to be unplugged, but um, here you go. This is a 1 gig PC2 6400U. So make sure if you're replacing the RAM that you get PC2 6400U RAM. Um, if you experiment with different speeds, I'm not sure if it'll work. So if you want, you can go ahead and try but make sure that it's DDR2 or PC2 RAM at the very minimum, okay? You won't be able to fit the other types of RAM because the slot's different. Okay, so here you can see some motherboard connectors. This is for CPU power. 
Okay, I'm not gonna unplug it. It looks like it uses a special uh, motherboard, actually. This isn't a standard, um, can't even see here. This isn't a standard motherboard power connector that is a much, sm much smaller. There's the BIOS or CMOS, real-time clock RTC battery, whatever you wanna call it. Fan connector here. All right, I'm not really going to show how to remove any of that other stuff, so we're probably just going to stop there. Anyways, um, let me go get a screwdriver. I'm going to just take these screws out, and then I'm going to put this plastic bracket back in. Here you can see how it's kind of has um, it holds itself in place, and this is why it's a little bit difficult to slide. All right, so I'm going to get a screwdriver, and I'll be back. All right, so I'm back. Let's go ahead and remove the screws from here. I'm using a P2, PH2, sorry or JAS2 screwdriver. Um, it's not really focusing on it, but basically we're just removing these four screws so we can take the hard drive out. And then we're gonna swap over the SSD. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead now and put this thing back together. So if you had a hard drive in here, okay. Let's rotate this so you can kind of see a little bit better. So if you had a hard drive here, um, same thing. You can see which way the latches go. I'm going to get that back in there. Okay. Drop that into place. You can see these actually fall into these slots. And then this slides over to latch it back into this these slots here. Okay. So let's go ahead and slide it. I might have to actually squeeze these manually. And, yep, there we go. Okay, so this is, blue thing is locked back into place. Next, we're going to put this SSD that we cloned everything into, and we're just going to reconnect it. Make sure that you get the L um, brackets facing the right way, okay? They both point towards the center, so that's how you know which way to plug each one, okay? Just like this. There we go. SSD is connected. Again, we can just leave it in there like that. It doesn't need to be secured in any way because it doesn't matter if it shakes around. Um, but if you're some for some reason shaking around your computer and you don't want it to make noises, then you can go ahead and um, use some double-sided tape or something. But again, it's not going to be a problem because this this thing doesn't move around. I mean, it doesn't. The desktops you don't really shake them around much, so you won't even hear any noise except for when you're carrying it around. All right, so the uh, three and a half inch, or the floppy drive right here, right? You can see where the screw goes, right there, there. Okay, then you just slide it over, right? And lock it back into place, push it all the way. Good, I'm gonna leave the floppy power disconnected because it's not connected with the data cable. Right, then the CD drive or optical disk drive, we're gonna reconnect this. Okay, sorry, I know you can't see, it's kind of hard to get a angle of this, but it's basically you just plug them in, you just push them in place, nothing confusing. All right, then we just drop this back in. You can actually see the notch where it goes in. Drop it down. I might have put it crooked. Oops. <laughs> Take this back out. Okay, make sure that it goes in front of this metal piece. Okay, there we go. And then slide it and lock it. Uh, very simple. All right, and all that's left now is to put back the cover, uh, which is very easy to do as well. Okay, so the cover, you want to make sure you get the top and the bottom right. So the bottom has these two holes in it like that, and the top has this. Okay, and of course also you can see the Dell logo, and you line up the two holes with these holes there at an angle like that. And then you just drop it down and push it into place. And that's pretty much, much it. Hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others. Helped you save a bunch of money. Uh, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Other than that, that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Oh, one thing I noticed, these screws are actually specially designed for this plastic bracket. So the smooth side actually just holds the hard drive in place. And then this uh, screw, the threads actually go into the plastic here. So actually, if you really wanted to, you can actually just pull these tabs to the side to be able to get the hard drive out. You don't have to use a screwdriver. All right.
But anyways, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Bye. Just in case you wanted to see, so here you can see the screws are in there. You can pull these tabs out like this, right? You can see now they're disengaged, and then you can actually lift the hard drive up. Oops, sorry, up and out. Okay, but uh, I'm gonna put that back in. Just and it snaps in just like that. Okay, very easy. All right, that's it. See ya.